everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad jabra problem so here we have uh, uh, square root of m cubed equals to square root of 64 and we will solve this problem for the values of m so here first uh, in order to find the value of m first we need to eliminate this square root sign from both of these uh, uh, sides so in order to eliminate uh, this is square root on both of the sides, we need to take the square on both of the sides. So when you take square, it will be written as m cube square root and its whole square equals to 64 square root and its whole square. So now you see here these two and square root are gone. This two and this square root are also gone and we will obtain here m cubed equals to 64. Uh, and now here further in the next step we need to uh, simplify the terms uh, and we have this is m cubed equals to uh, this is 64 and we know that 64 equals to 4 cubed uh, so uh, here uh, we need to move this 4 cubed in the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 4 cubed equals to 0. So further in the next step uh, here uh, we need to use the nice cubic formula so uh, according to this formula uh, if you have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this cubic formula uh, we will write our above equation as in this form Mm, so here our a is equals to m and b equals to 4 so we just put the values of a and b here and it will be written as first you have a minus b here our a is m and b is 4 into a square a is m square plus a b again a is m and b is 4 plus b square so b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m minus 4 times of m square plus 4m plus uh, this 4 square equals to 16 and this is equals to 0. Uh, and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m minus here we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m minus 4 equals to 0. The second case is we write m square plus 4m plus 16 equals to 0 and now here uh, from this case we easily get the value of m equals to 4 this is the our first uh, real root of the given equation uh, and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation so this is quadratic equation in m variable so uh, now here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation uh, so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 16. These are the coefficients of this quadratic equation and now here we state the quadratic formula as uh, minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now here in the next step we need to substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula. So after substituting the values of a, b, c it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is 4 when you put it here it will become minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as m equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of uh, 4 square so this 4 square equals to 16 minus this is 4 multiplied by 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 and 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and now here we need to focus in this radical term so we have this is minus 4 plus minus square root of here we take common 16 uh, inside the square root and we get the remaining values are 
here we get 1 minus here we get 4 and it is divided by 2 so in the next step we need uh, some simplifications and we write it as m equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 multiplied by 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, because here we need to find the values of m uh, so we do more simplifications here uh, so for this uh, we need to focus uh, in the uh, in this radical term and we have minus 4 plus minus uh, here we will just apply this radical sign on both of these values and it will be written as a square root of 16 into square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we uh, need more simplifications uh, and now here in the next step we have m equals to this is minus 4 plus minus we know that uh, the square root of 16 equals to 4 and here we can again break this radical sign and we can apply this radical on 3 and we apply this radical on minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So here we use the definition of iota and we know that iota is equals to square root of minus 1. Uh, so according to this definition, uh, we can just put this square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 into this is iota and it is divided by 2. And now here in the next step we need to break this fraction and it will be written as m equals to minus 4 over 2 plus minus this is 4 times of square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota and here we need two cancellations of some terms so you see here this is 2 times of 2 is 4 this is also 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and if we obtain minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. Uh, and finally we have uh, the three roots of the given equation are the first root is minus 2 plus 2 times of square root of 3 iota. The second root is minus 2 minus 2 times of square root of 3 iota and uh, uh, we have the third root of the given equation is m3 equals to 4. So we have uh, finally uh, we have these three roots uh, of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.